Hey guys, what is going on? We're going to be back here doing another realistic rebuild. This time we're going to be taking on the Indianapolis Colts. And you know what? Some breaking news did come out last night. Andrew Luck is retired. You might have known by not seeing him on the roster here. I can't believe it. I really can't. I guess the injuries were just piling up on him. But I, man, I was, I was like, is this a joke or what? Is he actually retiring? And man, I guess he is. 29 going away from the game here i guess yeah the injuries probably just got the better of him he said you know he was going from injury rehab injury rehab and it was just recurring so i guess he just thought the best thing was to retire you know so we'll see what the colts are going to be without him that's definitely going to be a huge problem for us we're gonna have to find quarterback immediately i guess we'll see if jacoby Brissett's right off the bat gonna be the guy he's got star development 71 overall he isn't horrible um he's 26 okay accuracy is not great but they're okay so we'll see if he can get the job done and if not we'll have to look for a quarterback in this draft though nice let me know what you guys thought about that let me know if you guys were shocked by it as well completely shocked by it um but yeah we're gonna have some nice running backs here marlon mack and Hines. i'm gonna have Hines just the third down guy and marlon mack is just gonna be our power back and our guy if it's not a third down so we are gonna have a split backfield there Receivers are pretty nice. We're going to have Hilton, Funches, and Campbell. I'm a fan of Funches. I definitely followed him in uh, Carolina, and he's going to be a nasty red zone threat. It's going to be a nice mix-up from the speedy Campbell and Hilton going to Funches, who's a nice red zone target. Offensive line's pretty nice. Nelson, Kelly, and uh, Glowinski here. We have some nice tackles in Smith and Costanzo. Costanzo does seem to retire either after the first year or two, and he's probably going to hit regression quite badly. He's just pretty old for a tackle. What is he? Yeah, he's 31. I, I don't expect him to be here long term. Now, we do have a tough tight end situation. I mean, not tough. It's a good one, but Jack Doyle and Eric Ebron. So, I am going to start Eric Ebron. I think he has the more upside. He's younger. Jack Doyle is a little bit older. I was going to throw Jack Doyle on the trade block. Not because I think the Colts are going to. I, I, I just don't know if Madden uses two tight end packages. Like, I don't ever see my second tight end getting a lot of stuff, receptions, but I will keep him here just to see if uh, it does work out here in Madden. Moving on to the defense side of the ball, I definitely the Colts have gotten better. They're not set yet, but they've gotten better. So linebackers, we're obviously going to have the nasty Darius Leonard. Had a great rookie season last year. Expect him to be a great player for us. We got Anthony Walker at middle linebacker. We'll see how he does. He's a young player, so hopefully he can upgrade for us. And we are going to have to find a right linebacker. Defensive line, we definitely have some older players on it, 100%. Uh, Justin Houston and Jabal Sheard, I'm not sure how long they're going to play on the squad. We'll see how long it takes them to start regressing. Defensive tackles aren't bad, but again, what's their age? Yeah, 29, I, I just don't know how these guys are going to age for us. So we're going to have to definitely keep that in mind. Safeties, we have Malik Hooker, who's a nice young safety. Gathers, we'll see how he plays. Cornerbacks are tough. That's one of the worst positions, I would say, on defense. They have, but they do have a nice corner here with his development isn't said yet. So we'll see what he is. He's going to be our slot guy, Rocky Sin here. We're going to have him. Moore is a nice young corner for us, but Desir, I just don't know if he's going to be here yet long term. We are going to set Moore as our number one guy. Um, so yeah, that's what the team's looking like. I definitely think we have a nice team to start with here, but a lot of question marks, especially after Luck retired. We'll see who's going to be our quarterback there, and I'll check back with you guys here at midseason and check out the players we got to resign. Wow, man, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I can't believe we're at a 4-3 and three record without Andrew Luck. Uh, that's, that's impressive. I, I would have thought the Colts would have fell apart without him, but I guess not. Um, see, this is what I'm talking about here. I, I just can't sign... Both these guys, they want a decent sized contract. Um, I think we're going to have to lead towards Eric Ebron. He's faster. Yeah, it, Jack Doyle's a better run blocker. But to be honest, I'm looking for a receiver in my tight end. He's a lot faster. Got, uh, yeah, I mean, catching's a little bit better. But the catching traffic for Eric Ebron is better than Doyle. So we're definitely going to lean towards Eric Ebron. Let Jack Doyle go, probably. Uh, Costanzo, again, I, I just don't know if we want to bring him back at 31. If this is going to be a long-term rebuild, probably want to get rid of some of the older players. Might let go uh, Jabal Sheard here and Costanzo. Devin Funches, I really would like to bring him back. I think he can possibly be a really good guy for us, so we're, we're going to bring him back. That's a decent-sized contract, though. Vinatieri, 
We'll bring him back. Gotta bring the good old legend back. Uh, Gethers. Man, he's 27. You know what? I, I just don't know. I guess we'll have to see how some of these players play. That's a that's a steal right there. We're going to sign Jacoby Brissett because he's played decent so far. We might stick with him, and that's not a big contract at all. So I think we, we bring him back. Mo Ali Cox could probably be a nice number two guy for us, so might want to get him. So yeah, bring back the important guys here. Eric Ebron, going to let a lot of these guys go. Fun, just bring him back. But yeah, some of these bigger names, we're, we're definitely probably going to let go. Man, we made the playoffs this year. Jeez. I, I, that's, that's something I did not expect. I wouldn't expect the Colts to really even be contenders without luck. But you know what? Jacoby Brissett looks like he played well. Three upgrade points. I'll take it. A couple upgrade points on offense. Decent offensive line upgrades. That's always nice to see. Fun, just with two. Paris Campbell with three. I'll take it. Defense here. What did oh Rocky Sin ended up being a star guy? Four upgrade points. Yeah, I'll take it. I will take that. Couple upgrade points on the line. Leonard with a couple. Walker with a couple. All right, that's nice upgrades. I mean, a nice season for us. We win the division slightly, but hey, we win the division without luck. I'll take that, man. Twenty first on offensive yards. Jacoby Brissett played well. Man, that, okay, he's our quarterback. He is our quarterback. No, undoubtedly our quarterback. 4,000 yards, 32 touchdowns, 8 picks, 74% completion rate. I'll take it. We got him on a steal of a contract as well. We only have to pay him like 3 million cap a year. So that's that's a great signing right there. And 74% completion rate is really good. Running here, Marlon Mack, 700 yards, 9 touchdowns. Bit high on the fumbles for Hines and Marlon Mack. 6 touchdowns for Hines. Receiving here, 87 receptions, 906 for Ebron. Hilton, 84 receptions, 900 yards, and 11 touchdowns. I'll take it. 11 touchdowns by Campbell as well, 700 yards for him. Funch just kind of got left out a little bit. About 600 yards, 3 touchdowns. Hines had a decent amount of receiving yards, 38 receptions, 400 yards, and a touchdown. So nice receiving for our squad here, sacks-wise. Left tackle allows 12, so yeah, I'm kind of glad we're letting him go. Other than that, our offensive line actually played pretty decent. Defense here, 109 tackles by Leonard, 103 by Walker, 88 by Desir. Sacks, we get 13.5 by Houston, 8.5 by Hunt, 7.5 by Sheard, 5 by Autry, 5 by Lewis. Man, nice production on the defensive side of the ball. Really good. We get 2 picks by Leonard, 2 by Rocky Sin, 2 by Hucker. One by Gathers, one by Desir, one by Adams, and then one by Harrison here. So nice. I like the way our, our team's played offensively and defensively. It's really good to see uh, Jacoby Brissett play good this early. Trubisky wins MVP. Okay. Um, we're not in the MVP conversation, but we, we played really good with Jacoby Brissett. So I, I think he's going to be a nice quarterback for us. He's got three upgrade points as well, so I'm feeling pretty good heading into this playoff game. But hey, we're taking on the Browns, so I don't know how great this is going to be. But let's go ahead and hop right into it here. All right, guys, taking on the Browns here already in the first year. I, I don't know if I'm expecting to really keep up with the Browns. We know they're the powerhouse of Madden, really. So, I mean, if it's close, I'll be happy, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. 21-6 to currently. I mean, okay, wow, we're coming back here. Okay, well, well, now we're getting beat down pretty handle. Oh, wow, okay. Well, we just got beat down bad against the Browns, and that, that's got to show us, you know, know we're, that's that definitely one of the teams we're going to have to build up our squad to beat. And if, if we get beat down that bad, that shows us we're not there yet, but I think we got our quarterback in Jacoby Brissett, which is nice already. Didn't have a great game, but you know what? I, I think he'll work out for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop right into free agency. We got a lot of money to spend now. Uh, you know, we got a lot of cap room, especially now that Luck isn't here. I'm not happy that he isn't here. I'm just saying we got a lot of cap to spend. So let's let's make some big signings. Pretty big free agency. We're gonna make some big signings here. We're gonna go after quite a few players. We're gonna spend a lot of money. So we're gonna offer a contract here to Tyreek Hill to come over here. And I think this is a, a perfect signing with Ty Hill at the age of 30. And usually that's when the receivers in Madden start regressing the most. I think it's smart to go after receiver of Hill's caliber just to, you know, get that speed there. Give Jacoby Brissett another target to throw to. We're also going to go after Kareem Hunt here. Uh, kind of the Kansas City free agency here. Going after three Kansas City people. 
uh, Kareem Hunt. We're going to go after him. I, I like Marlon Mack. I'm a fan of him. I, I just, uh, I don't know if he's going to be the long-term back for us. And to get an immediate upgrade with Hunt, who's a 92 overall, has superstar development, has a chance of getting that superstar X-Factor development, I think it's worth going after him. Uh, Kendall Fuller, we need cornerback help. This is kind of a no-brainer. I, I think this is a smart move. A lot of money we're paying, but to get a 90 overall corner, that's pretty helpful. Also, we're going to have to go after Miles Jack here, middle linebacker. And I'm thinking this, so if, if we get Miles Jack, we're going to start him at middle. But we are going to bounce Anthony Walker over to the right side where we do need help. So if we get these guys, we're going to be looking really nice. Um, really nice. We're going to have a pretty good squad. Go ahead and see if they want to accept it. Kareem Hunt accepts, Hill accepts, Jack accepts. The only player that didn't accept is going to be uh, the corner that we wanted to go after. And I'm not sure why he didn't accept it here. Let's go ahead and check the negotiations out. All right, Seattle's really overpaying him. So I think we're going to back off that. We don't want to pay him already more than we're paying him. Because we're paying him a fairly decent amount here. I would go after Thune, but we have Nelson, so there's no need so that's going to do it for the free agency. We get three big name players in Hunt, Hill, and Jack, who, who I expect to help us out greatly. All right, guys, so we're going to do a quick draft recap here. We definitely got some nice players, so we had to address left tackle after losing Costanzo. So we go after a nice left tackle who has hidden development, who I think is going to really help us out. Tristan Wirth, 73 overall, uh, 21. He's got that hidden, uh, not, you know, not the best of stats currently, but he's got good strength and that's really your main concern with the tackle. He's got good awareness already too. And with that hidden development, he could end up being like a superstar player. We don't know. So I, I expect him to upgrade pretty decently. We'll go after a left end as well. Clavon Chayasin here, 71 overall, pretty decent player. He's going to be a D a left end for us. Um, not great strength. But I, I think he is going to fill in for Sheard Nice. Got 82 finesse movies, a real nasty speed rusher with that 83 speed. Good block shedding. So I, I, I think he should fit in nice. And he's already got swim move, bull rush, and high motor, which is really the traits you want for a nice pass rusher. Then we go after a defensive tackle. And he I, I say he's definitely going to start. He's got hidden development for us. 72 overall, 88 strength, 83 finesse move. 80, I mean, 83 power move, 80 finesse move, nice tackling, good block shed. Really a, a very nice defensive tackle for us. He's got bull rush and high motor already. So I'm, I'm happy about this. We get some nice pass rushers that should start for us. And other than that, we don't really hit on anything. We get a strong safety who might start for us instead of the safety we'll, we had to let go of. But I'm, I'm happy with these first three picks. I think these first three guys are going to be pretty good players for us and be here around the long haul so yeah i'm happy with this and let's go ahead and take a look at the squad heading into year two so heading into year two here guys let's go ahead and take a look at the squad so we got jacoby Brissett. he's sitting at a 74 overall but to be honest i would say it's a pretty decent quarterback here because when you look at the accuracies they're not horrible at all good awareness so i'm happy with jacoby Brissett as the quarterback currently um so we're going to have Tyreek Hill, who we picked up in free agency. Nice receiving core. Nice. I mean, we got Hill, T.Y. Hilton, Devin Funches to play the slot. Paris Campbell's our number four guy. That's how stacked our receiving core is. Got Eric Ebron to go along with Mo Ali Cox here. And why these running backs are together? Jesus. Look at this trio we got going on here. Kareem Hunt, Marlon Mack, Hines. I mean, geez, we got, we got a nasty running back core. Uh, offensive line's looking nice. I'm expecting Wharfs to upgrade pretty decently. He's already got one upgrade point. All the rest of the offensive line's looking pretty nice. There are a lot of young guys together here. Maybe Glowinski is, what's his age? 28, so I'd say he's probably the oldest guy on the line. Yeah, Ryan Kelly's 27. So I'm feeling really good about our O-line currently. Checking out the defense. We actually got a superstar X-Factor out of Darius Leonard. Now, I do like to show this because I was looking. Some rebuilders will not show, like, you know the player getting the X Factor, so I, I feel like I, I definitely want to show that because I don't want you guys to think I'm just putting the X Factors on people. So there you can see Super Bowl week development trait increased. So he's got the run stuffer ability, and that's that's a really nice one for Leonard. Uh, I think he can be devastating with that, considering we are running the four three and we have some nasty players. We got Miles Jack now, Anthony Walker to move outside to the right. Got Malik Hooker at free safety. Reed is going to start our rookie at strong safety. Corners are still a little tough here, but 
we are going to start Rocky Sin at number two and see how he does. Kenny Moore is going to be our number one guy. Desir is going to play the slot. Uh, defensive line, we still have Justin Houston, who didn't regress, which is nice. We're going to start Chasen at left end. And then we are going to start Lewis as our number two defensive tackle instead of Autry, just because he is a little bit older. And we're going to start the hidden development defensive tackle we drafted, Matos, at our number one defensive tackle. I am actually going to throw Autry on the trade block because I don't really think we need him currently. I don't know if anybody's going to offer him anything, but we'll see. We'll actually check out real quick if we do have any offers. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we already have some offers here for the D tackle. And well, I'm just going to accept this. It's not really like we're going to use him. So we'll send him out here to Buffalo. And they might have a nice defensive tackle core. Now they got Ed Oliver and him. So they probably have a formidable line there. So that is going to do it for the preview of year two let's go ahead and get to mid-season though and check out the players we're gonna have to resign so we are back here at mid-season of year two now i just wanted to get your guys opinion on this now i do want to play maybe a game or two in each rebuild just to see what our squad is looking like so if you guys want to see that let me know uh in the comments section below on this video but some of the players we're gonna have to resign here justin houston he's 31 I'm real tempted to bring him back, but I don't want to get bitten by it. I I, I need him for three years. Now, I, I how bad did he regress last year is the real question. Did he regress at all? Wow, he didn't regress at all. All right, so we, we might get that deal done because if he's not regressing currently at 31, I'm going to be feeling pretty good about that. Ryan Kelly, I want to bring him back. He, he's our star center. Definitely can't afford to lose him. Marlon Mack. Uh, you know what? We just signed Kareem Hunt. Can't bring him back, so we're going to have to let go of him. Malik Hooker, I got to bring him back. Quincy Wilson, 75 overall. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what kind of a season he has. If he ends up having a really nice season, we'll definitely will bring him back. But we'll see what kind of a season he does have. Anthony Walker, that's a no-brainer. We got to bring him back. He is a real nice linebacker. Uh, besides that, there's not really anybody we're going to bring back. So, Walker, um, Wilson, maybe we'll see what kind of a year he has. Hooker, for sure. We're going to let go of Mac, bring back Kelly, and possibly Justin Houston. That's a that's a pretty hefty contract, but he is our best pass rusher. So, we re really don't want to lose that on that. So, we're most likely going to bring him back. Wow, man, I'll take it. But, Jesus, her putting up a Z against failure, to be honest. I mean, come on, bro. We got to play the Browns again? Okay, I mean, at least it's at Indianapolis here. It was last year as well. We got blown apart, though. So, hopefully, we can play a little bit better than that. Uh, we finished 9-6-1. Man, we're winning this division two years in a row without luck. Still, I, I, I'm honestly kind of... I, I can't believe it. I, I thought this would be a real tough rebuild without luck. But, man, Jacoby Brissett is continuing to impress. Oh, and our left tackle ended up having star development. He's got five upgrade points. Yes, please. Solid, yes, please. T.Y. Hilton is still upgrading. We got Tyree Kill upgrading. Fontes. Uh, yeah, offense probably performed nice with all these upgrade points here. Def oh, my God. 10? He had 10 upgrade points. Why does, does he still have hidden development? Uh, what's going on there? It says he has hidden development, but he's played 0 of 500 downs. He's our number one defensive tackle. How does he have 10 upgrade points then? Okay, that's a little weird. That is a little weird. But uh, other than that, we upgraded decently on defense. I'm just wondering how this guy got 10. Then you got Chase in here sitting at 5. That's nice. So decent amount of upgrades. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Go ahead and check out the stats for the year. Fourth in offensive yards. 45 touchdowns by Jacoby. Are you insane? Oh my god, dude. 4,100 yards, 45 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Okay, okay. I, I would say he's filling in for luck nicely. Let's just say that. 74% completion rate. Insane year by Jacoby. Hunt does his thing here. 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns, 1 fumble. I'll take it. He's really going to be a workhorse for us. And you can see by those numbers that... He, he should have a great, great couple of years here in this uh, franchise. 
Tyreek Hill, 81 receptions, 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Font just did work from the slot. 58 receptions, 800 yards, 13 touchdowns. Average 14 yards a catch. 82 receptions by Eric Ebron, 800 yards, 9 touchdowns. Hilton, 72, 607. Uh, did we get Paris Campbell involved at all? Paris Campbell didn't get any receptions. All right. Uh, Kareem Hunt, oh my god, 500 yards receiving? Uh, it's about 1,800 yards total. T.Y. Hilton, 72 receptions, 600 yards, 7 touchdowns, I'll take that. I'm really impressed with Funches' 13, though. Blocking here, what do we give up? 12 sacks by the left tackle, but he did end up with a lot of upgrade points, so that should be taken care of for next year. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking our offensive line is actually going to be set here. Go ahead and check out the defensive side of the ball. 133 tackles by Miles Jack. 108 by Leonard. 104 by Kenny Moore. 92 by the Ruck JDR Reed. That's that's pretty impressive. Sacks-wise, we get 12.5 by Houston. 6 by the defensive tackle, who has 10 upgrade points. We get 5 by Kamoko Ture. 4.5 by Leonard. Uh, where's our left end at? Chasen didn't get many sacks, unfortunately, there. Go ahead and check out interceptions here. We get two by... Oh, wow. We struggled getting picks. Only two by Miles Jack. One by Leonard and one by Desir. Uh Either way, though, we, we had a great year offensively. Fourth in offensive yards. I got to see if Jacoby uh, won MVP. Coming in at number three, that's impressive. The only people ahead of him is Wilson and Elliott. I'll take it. I will take that 100%. So that is going to do it here for the end of the season. But let's go ahead and hop into this playoff game against the Browns and see if we can get revenge after they blew us apart last game. All right, same spot as last year, taking on Cleveland. I'm looking for revenge. I'm looking for some revenge up in here. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. We score seven early. Come on. We, we got a nasty defense brewing as well. So our defense should be way better. 14 to 3. Cleveland drives down and scores. So do we, though. If we can beat Cleveland, that's a huge statement. Huge statement. Oh, wow. They go down the field to score. So do we. Close game. And look at the W over Cleveland. I'll take that, bro. We take them out. 27-24. Close game. Jacoby Brissett plays way better than he did last year. Let's go ahead and check out some of the stats here for our squad. Now you've got to go ahead and set your so Jacoby Brissett, 31 of 43, two touchdowns, 355 yards. All right, I see you. Cream Hunt, 25 for 82 and a touchdown. Receiving here, Tyreek Hill went off with two touchdowns. Uh, blocking here, did we do great? Or all right, one sack allowed. I'll take it. Defensively here, did we get any sacks? Nope. I mean a half sack by our D tackle Matas and Houston. And no interceptions, but still, our defense held up there. And we get the W over Cleveland. We're heading to the divisional round. So we're going to be taking on the 12-4 Buffalo Bills here. I mean, we should get a W here. We really should. And if we get a W here, I, I could see us making the Super Bowl, possibly. Because we got a nasty offense. I feel like we can score at any time. And our defense seems to be stepping up. Buffalo scores. Oh, they we tie it up, though. Buffalo scores another touchdown. Okay. We tie it right back up, though. Man, it's going back and forth here. It's going back and forth, and we score. And we score again, and that might seal the deal. We take out and Buffalo there. The Came out in the second half. Played really this? well, what and we get the W get the there. Game. Josh Allen with four to touchdowns. But we take him out 45-28. I'll take it. I will take it. Dead. Looks like Percet had another nice game. 300 yards and three touchdowns. He's filling in for... Andrew Luck, insanely. I mean, I, I would not have expected Jacoby Brissett to play this well, but, man, he's tearing it up right now. He is tearing it up. We're moving on to the conference championship already. So we're going to be taking on the Kansas City Chiefs here in the conference championship. It's going to be a bit of a revenge game for some of our players. I know Kareem Hill went to the Browns, but still picked up Hill. Uh, I'm expecting us to play well, but it, it's going to have to. We're going to have to put up points. We're going to have to put up some points. I, I need our offense to do something. All right, we tie it up 7-7. Kansas City scores. Okay. This isn't looking great right now. They score again. We need to put some points up. 
All right, we, we put some points up. We tied up late. We had a three-point lead. And we hit the field goal late in the game. And we're going to take out the Kansas City Chiefs. Good Lord, what is our team doing, bro? I mean, we're tearing teams up. We took out the Browns. Took out Buffalo, which, I mean, yeah, we should have. But then Kansas City? Bro, we, we, we're headed to the Super Bowl, and we could definitely win this thing. Jacoby Brissett's playing out of his mind. Then we got Kareem Hunt. I mean, 80 yards, I'll take it. Receiving the ball here. Uh... We, we just played well. We, we did it good enough to get the job done. What did our defense do here? Got a sack by the defensive tackle. One interception by Miles Jack. We're headed to the Super Bowl here. Let's go ahead and hop right into it, man. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. If we win the Super Bowl in year two, that is going to get crazy. Now, guys, we are playing the Detroit Lions. If we don't get a W here, if we don't get a dub here, come on. Come on, bruh. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Super Bowl on the line here. We score three early. Drive down the field, score a touchdown. I just don't see Detroit being able to keep up with us, you know? We have such a high-powered offense right now. Defense is stepping up 20-3 to currently. We're beating down on Detroit pretty badly. They, they, they just can't put up points right now. They just can't put up points. And we're going to get the Super Bowl dub in year two. That is, I, I believe that's the fastest I've ever won the Super Bowl. I think it's because we signed so many elite players in that free agency. We picked up Hunt. We picked up Miles Jack. Tyreek Hill. I mean, our offense was just outstanding. We had a good O-line. Jacoby Brissett played out of his mind. Man, I, I still can't believe this. I, I, I picked them because I thought, man, this might be a tough rebuild. Uh, luck isn't here. He retired. Uh, but Jesus, Jacoby Brissett stepped up in a huge way. And we get the Super Bowl dub here. Player of the game goes to Justin Houston. He had five sacks? Jesus. Man, our defense went off this game. And we get the Super Bowl dub here in year two. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. But I, I think we're going to end it here. Got a lot of elite players. Jacoby Brissett stepped up for the Colts. And we get that dub. And let me know what you guys want to see next time. Make sure to leave a suggestion of who you do want to see. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that sub button. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers right now, so I really would appreciate that. And you know what? If not for anything else, we won the Super Bowl in year two. So make sure you do hit that sub button. I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys thought of the rebuild and how Jacoby Brissett played in the place of luck. So, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.